You don't need to spend hours and hours on the internet. Don't be overwhelmed by loads of resources and information. Spend just 15 to 20 minutes on building your PLM a day. Remember that the purpose of PLM is personalized learning. You determine your needs and goals. The amount of information grows rapidly when your PLM grows. But there are some tools that can help you to collect, organize and share specific content, to curate it. My favorite are Symbolo, Pearl Trees and Pinterest. In Symbolo, I have a collection of different web pages connected to a certain topic, for example, project-based learning or resilience or interesting teachers' ideas or financial literacy and many others. How to add a new web mix? Just click on plus that for the name, for example, PLN, and then click add. And you have these tiles. And how to add a new tile? So I just click at the tile and I will add, okay, I will add this one. So go back, create a tile, then put URL and I have directly the name. If I want to show the text, I click this and then save. I have now this tile. When I click on it, it goes directly to the web page. And also I can find, for example, resources here. Tiles or even whole web mixes. So, for example, I will browse through these tiles and I can add financial times. I have directly that web page here. So it's very easy to create. And then you can share your web mix. And you can share it publicly to be available in the gallery or privately with your friends. Or even you can embed your web mix on to your website. Pearl Trees is my favorite curation tool. I can add web pages, images, files and create whole collections, like for example presentation tool, where I have more than 100 tools for presentation, or I have uh, collaborative tools, or I have uh, ideas about uh, flipping classroom or assessment, and for example, entrepreneurial learning training. I created this collection for the participants of my training and then I just share it with them and they have all training materials. So I can share it this way. So I will show you how to add, for example, this financial literacy also to this tool. Just click on the web page, then click the URL add and that's it. So it's very easy and really very effective and useful for you. You can also find collections related to the certain topic, like to this entrepreneurial learning training. Pinterest is very popular among educators. You can create boards, add pins, but what I like most is huge amount of resources. For example, I click on financial literacy and I can browse there are very nice images, infographics, ideas. So I can choose, I like this one, click on save and then I can choose that I want to have it in this collection, entrepreneurial learning. And directly I have this pin here. There are many curation tools. Just explore them and use what suits you best.